Who was Nikola Tesla? Most people have never even heard this name, and if you're like me and have gone through two degree programs in electronics, you might have heard it in passing when learning about AC currents. Mr. Tesla was the inventor of the AC power distribution system, yet despite the obvious benefit to society of the system, he has been practically erased from history. When I started researching means of mitigating our energy dependence, I was led to focus on Professor Tesla. I became curious about the discrepancy and tried to understand why a man that had made such an important contribution to humanity did not have a Nobel Prize. What I discovered was the incredible mind of the world's most prolific inventor. He started with brushless motors and the AC power system and went on to wireless communications, robotic systems, efficient engines, pumps, and even a tail rotor aircraft. In hopes of helping those of us who want to know more about Professor Tesla's discoveries, I will try to share with you what I've learned from reading his patents and lectures. First we will look at patent 1119732, Apparatus for Transmitting Energy Through the Natural Media, which was granted on December 1, 1914. The system consists of a generator for producing pulse currents through a primary coil, shown in red, a secondary coil blue, a resonant coil green, a conductor in yellow, and an elevated capacitance in orange. This patent is a simplified representation of the actual system intended to illustrate the theory and it serves that purpose well. The generator sends a discharge through primary coil C, which induces a wave in secondary coil A. This wave in turn induces a reaction in resonant coil B and carries energy to conductor B prime. When it reaches its connection to capacitor D, a charge builds up on the capacitor. The following animation shows the interaction of the system. Generator pulse through the primary starts a wave in the secondary, which interacts with the resonant coil. The resonant coil imparts part of its energy to the capacitance at top through the conductor. When the capacitance charges up enough, a standing wave is established, which can be used to transmit information at a mere 10% power law. 